Hi there. Welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Today we're going to paint um we're going to paint a forest, but like if it if we were right up close to it. All right, so we're going to put a couple of uh a couple of trees in the background here and you see I'm putting them in with paints gray and I'm putting them in very very lightly. And uh most of this might get covered up, so don't worry about it too much. We want this to be very light though. And then, uh, you know, to create some visual interest in the background, I'm just going to splatter a little bit of Payne's Gray on there like that. Okay, now <clears throat> we, we want this to pretty much um, be 100% dry before we do too much more to it. So we're gonna work on the left hand side here. So that first brush I was using, that was a number four round watercolor brush. And this is a quarter inch flat watercolor brush. And I'm gonna pick up uh, some water, mix up a little bit more Payne's Gray here. Um, not too much darker than what it is right here, but I need a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to put a tree right here, okay, just like that, and then we're going to take from this tree, we're going to put a couple of branches in like this. So with the flat brush, it's pretty easy because you just sort of turn your hand to get the branch to come off like that. Okay, I'm going to take this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put it into any amount of paint, I'm just going to dip it into the water and right back out. I really need this to stay wet for me. So I'm just going to wet it like that real quick. Okay. Now you see how this has already started to turn into this mottled sort of looking tree. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to take this. I'm not going to rinse it off or anything. I'm going to put it into some yellow ochre. And I'm going to drop that yellow ochre in a few places on my tree. Okay. See how this being dark like that has already made this look like it's further back? That's exactly what we're going for in this particular type of work. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush again. I'm going to put it into the water and back out and right into the paint's gray. And I'm going to paint another tree here. This tree's going to be just like that, a little bit thicker maybe. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to use my brush to create my branches like that okay this time I'm going to put this brush into some blue paint some blue wash that I have over here and I'm going to go up one side of this tree and maybe up the branch like that okay just like that don't do anything else to it now I'm going to take this brush I'm going to touch it to the Payne's Gray, okay, and then I'm going to touch it along the side of the tree, and then maybe along the side of the branch, maybe the underside of this branch, and touch it back to the Payne's Gray again. So this would be considered dry on wet, okay. I'm going to come back to this tree. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this Payne's Gray into this. And you see how we're starting to develop this modeled effect? That's exactly what we're going for here, okay? Like that. And you can just keep playing with it. As long as it's wet, you can keep playing with it. I'm going to rinse my brush off now because it's starting to get a little bit mucky. I'm going to pick up some more blue. Just like that. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna let that all bleed off to wherever it is it's going to go to. We're gonna put one more tree uh, close to this tree right here. I think before I do that though, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a blue splatter. I'm working very intuitively here. I'm just not, 
I mean, I have sort of a plan of where it is that I want to put trees and stuff, but I'm just trying to have fun with my watercolor paint. So I rinsed the brush out. I'm going to pick up some more paints gray here. I'm going to put another tree right here. Just right over top of that wet paint that we just installed on there. I'm going to put another branch here and another branch here. And just let that all blend together. Don't 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 fret it too much. And I'll back up this side. And up there. Rinse my brush out again. This time I'm going to pick up a little bit more yellow ochre. Okay, let's let this dry and see what we get. All right, so I took my hair dryer and dried that up. Let's put the mat on here and see what we get. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's pretty cool, eh? All right, thanks for watching. If you learned anything from me today, if you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be really appreciated. And I'd love to know where you're from. If you could leave me a question or a comment, that'd be awesome. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again next time.